What's crackalackin' everybody and welcome back to what is the one, the only part two of this Aquapolis Boost Box if you're thinking Ando, where is part one? Make sure you click the annotation right about there, it will take you right back to part one. Let me tell you, it was a real party in everybody's pants. We managed to really, like get off the seal of approval. And if I don't know about you guys, but like one of the best parts of a booster box is getting that seal of approval off. And also, someone coined out in the comment uh, in the comment section, in the comment section, you can take all these out and like set them up a different way so you can take them out much easier. So you put them back in like this. So uh, then we'll be able to take our eight packs out. What do you guys think? I like that idea a bit. So I uh, will. I don't know. I'm always for those mini tricks. So we got two, three. Four, that was upside down. Five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So we got eight packs out. Let's dive straight into this one. What are we going to contain? Hopefully, we can only pray that we're going to get a crystal. But uh, but you know what? Honestly, if we just pull a hollow, I am completely fine with that because this Aquapolis artwork, as I've said way too many times already, it is my favorite set. Like, oh my gosh. And even like the E series, those are lines on the side of the cards. That's what makes it for me, like those like little things on the cards, they really make it. All right, so we've got a memory berry. What the heck is that? Oh my gosh, I got something in my eye. Oh, it burns, it burns. It's all right, it's out, okay. I hate that, I always get random stuff in my eye. All right, so we've got a memory berry. <laughs> what a weird start to a video. What the heck is that? Look, it's got like all the evolved forms. Is it? Is that seriously what happens? Baby Pokemon, oh my gosh. So this is a baby Tyrogue, and then it's got all the sort of like evolved forms it can go into, with like on the side there, all the different pictures. This is so awesome. So uh, it's got the three pictures there. We've got an energy punch as well with uh, 10 damage. What an epic card, and we've also got another baby Pokemon in the back there. It's, uh, oh, and another one in the back as well. Can you guys see that? That is so epic. This is exactly why I love Aquapolis, like many things like that. So uh, we got a Thampy as well, a La Vesta, an Oddish, oh my gosh, just chilling on a leaf. That artwork is incredible. A uh, Goldeen as well. We got an Eevee. Holy mac and cheese and meeples. That looks so cool. He's just running through the city. Gosh, that is so epic. I love that card. We've got a Reverse Sentra, and that's like an acclamation form once again. And then a uh, Apricorn Forest, an Apricorn. Gosh, I'd love to have that in my cereal in the morning. Morning, and that was the last card. So uh, what a boost pack already. We had a few cards we haven't pulled already and uh, we should be able to get like a whole bunch of different cards as well because it, it's like the biggest set ever. It's 147 flipping cards. I'm guessing like you'd probably need a few booster boxes to be able to finish this one so it'd be cheaper in the end to get off eBay. Uh, rather than the boost boxes. Oh, I was about to go three from the back. That was about to be damaging. So uh, we'll go a healing berry there. We've got a grass cube, unlisted leaf energy cube. That's it. That is what I'm talking about. we got a Porygon. He's uh, looking pretty confused there. A Nidoran male. A Doduo in the gym there. He does not care. Oh, we're going to execute with that amazing looking artwork. And we got a uh, contagious egg explosion. He explodes everywhere with all his eggs. And then uh, we've got a Sentret there. And then a reverse water cube. So we're getting all those different cubes. And a Muck regular rare. I'm pretty sure we already pulled that mark in the uh, last part. So, uh, okay, two regular rares after a row. This one's definitely going to contain a holo. Show you the time. Oh, this Sizzle man, look at his wings. He's gonna, he's going to buzz us way all the way to a holo. I got a feeling, I got a bit of an inkling that this is going to contain a flipping holo. If we can open it up. Oh, this is getting worse and worse to open up per thing. But that's all right. We'll try to save as much uh, as the boost pack artwork as we can. We don't want to damage it too much. Let's do this one. We got a time shard on a uh, like underwater pillar or something like that. A uh, skip loon. That's a really nice looking skip loon as well. A uh, centra as well. A mill tank, and he is the happiest guy in the whole entire world. Another Paris Hound Door on a rock. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. The third pack in, we managed to pull a Hollow Lantern, and that looks so cool. Look at like the sky, and we got the rocks in the background. That is such an epic looking Hollow. I love the artwork on that. It's like a claymation-y one. It is so awesome. We got a let. Electric Tackle is the attack there. The weakness is Fighting Energy, and it's 80 HP. That is so epic. We pulled a holo on the third pack in, and I have never got that holo before. So every holo that I haven't got is, like, incredible. It's number 15 in the set, so that is so epic. Definitely going at the back. And then we get a Reverse Pupiter and a Arcanine Regular Rare. So what an epic pack. I love the holo packs. They definitely make the booster box for me. So, yes, I cannot believe we pulled a holo. So uh, that is already this part made. Oh, my gosh. We're talking three holos already, and we're only halfway through parts. So this booster box, I swear, is going to be the best one ever. All right, let's get... Oh, gosh, we completely broke the back door off that one. So, okay, two from the back. Let's do this one. Another holo. Can you imagine it? Me neither. Okay, so we got a Golduck here, a traveling salesman. He's trying to make a bit of a dollar. I've got a Drowsy there, a Sneasel. Looks like me when I'm trying to look for my neutral grain bar in the morning. I'm like, where is it? I must eat my breakfast. Oh, we got... No, no way. That's another holo victory bell. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants. Yes, we bought a second one. Look at that corrosive acid. What an epic looking attack. 
That is so cool. And look at like the purpley stuff on the weeping on uh, the victory bell, sorry. What an epic looking card. That is two in a row, two hollows, and that is a stage two Pokemon with 90 HP. That is so epic, and I've never pulled that one either, so we'll put that one at the back. That is two hollows in a row, reverse parasect, and an electrode regular rare. Did he just come straight from the dentist or something? Look at his teeth. Is that even his teeth? I'm guessing it is. What a card. Electrode, my man, pulling the weirdest face ever. Looks like it'd be a troll face, like, lol, you just got trolled. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, alright, let's go on the next one. We got an Entei pack here. Look at Entei. A lot of people like this as their favourite artwork on their boost pack. And uh, I'd have to agree, like, all these artworks, any of them could be your favourite because they're so epic. Come on, let's go. Let's um, peel this one from. There we go. Oh my gosh, can you smell that, guys? It smells like a victory pole. What do you reckon? A really good one? Crystal, maybe? Oh, we could only hope. Okay, two from the back. We've got this. Is there something in the bottom of the... Oh, look at that. There's like a number at the bottom of the booster box. Can you guys see that? Look, it's like a... Take that out there. They stamped the flipping bottom of the booster box with like a number. That's so random. 132075. I think that must be the number of booster boxes. So guys, we were the lucky 13,000 people to actually get this booster box. Don't you feel special? I know I certainly do. Alright, sorry for that randomness, but uh, we got a weakness guard here, a darkness cube, a mill tank, a uh, hound door. Gosh, that looks so cool. And I think the artwork on the hound door must change all the time because we pulled a hound door before and it did not look like that. We've got a Sentra as well, a Porygon, a Horsey, and I love the artwork on that Horsey, you guys. Oh no, I love that so much. A Spinarak Reverse. I love Spinarak. That is so epic. I love every card in this set, I swear. I've got a regular Blossom with Knife Leaf. What a gangster looking attack for such a cute Pokemon. Jeez. Alright, so uh, Sizzle, my man. Come on, let's bring us bring us another Hollow Sizzle, because that card is so epic, or just a Hollow in general. Anything we'll do for Endo. Alright, oh, there we go. What are you guys' um, favourite Hollows in this entire set? Do you have a favourite card or favourite Hollow that you really want to pull? Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. For uh, for me, honestly, any card does the trick, but uh, a Crystal, I think Nido King would probably be my one card that I really want to pull the most. But uh, but I'm interested to see what you guys think. What are you guys uh, interested in these cards? Are you for the artwork or are you for the Crystal cards? We've got a Reverse First Wooper there, looking really awesome, and then an Executor, regular rare, and that's like a sort of crayon or a water pastel coloured in paint, and it's so cool. Love when they did that water pastel sort of stuff, and um, they didn't do the computer generated stuff, but I'm guessing this is the set where they sort of ch started changing it all, because Sky Ridge was a lot more computer generated. So I'll crack that one open. We're on the second to last booster pack, guys. Do not get too depressed. Okay, so we got a Wooper here. Wooper, my man, and he's looking so sad. I know, Wooper, it is only the second to last booster pack. All right, we got a Warp Energy there, a Volpix. We got a Hip Hop, Hippity Hop, a uh, Houndor there, Mr. Mime. He's doing his little mime show on the street. We got an Execute, Reverse, Espeon, Holy Mac and Cheese and Meatballs in my pants, West Virginia. That is amazing. Look at that card, guys. The Shine, the Reverse. It is an evolution That cannot get any cooler at all. Leave a comment in the comment section below. What? What do you think of this card? It's got like a little water fountain there. He's going up some like uh, stone steps. I'm guessing all this artwork is based in Italy because it reminds me a lot of Italy scenery and all that. But this is such a nice card. I don't know why. I love it so much. This is so epic. Reverse Espeon. Love that card. And a regular rare sizzle. We actually pulled the hollow version of this if you haven't seen it in the uh, last part. But guys, we are on the final pack. And a lot of people wanted me to do the roller coaster for this one. So let's do this one. We go. Boom. 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 Whoa. Oh, there we go. It's done the roller coaster. That means it's going to have something completely amazing in there. What are the chances? So we pulled two uh, hollows in this part, which I think seems to be the going rate. Two hollows per part. And uh, if that is, I'm completely fine. So that's enough heart attack energy I need for the day. So I'll get this one open like that. Do a bit of surgery. What do we got here? We got a Mareep. He's just asking for more cat food. We're like, Mareep, why do you eat cat food? That's a bit random. So we get a Voltorb here just chilling in the street. Oh, this scary dude to meet in the street at late at night. Looks like a gummy worm. We got super energy removal as well. A uh, Mary there. Hitmon top being an absolute swag and boss. A Scyther as well looking pretty cool. A Lickitung. What are you doing, Lickitung? Actually, what is that artwork? That looks like a real tree. Like they've actually taken a picture of a tree, photoshopped in a claymation Lickitung. This is so epic. The, like the length they. Well, no! We did it! We pulled another hollow! It's an executor hollow! And look how, like, simplistic this thing is. It's such a small Pokemon compared to the background, but look how much shine is on that card. Yes! Oh, what a shiny looking hollow that is! Executor, my man. We got Cold Shot and Super Explosion. And uh, 80 HP with 40 times damage. So that is a really, really nice card. 
we've had some epic pulls this part, as well as a uh, reverse Porygon there. A lot of people love Porygon. And uh, Darkness Energy. But you know what? I ain't even mad. I'm not even mad we pulled a uh, Energy there, because look at the recap here. We pulled a Hollow Executor, and that is like the shine on that. Hashtag ridiculous. We've got an Espeon Reverse, and that artwork on that card is amazing. We've got a Hollow Victory Bell with that sort of pinky purple uh, smell coming out of his mouth. He had some uh, garlic bread before he came, and he's like, awkward, and no one wants to speak to him. We've also got a Hollow Lantern there, swimming through the oceans of God knows what. And uh, we've got a Tyrogue Baby, and we've also got another two babies in the background of that card. What do you guys think of this part? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm in love with this set, but you guys already knew that. I'm really keen to see what you guys think, but most wouldn't have guys. What do you do? Make sure you click the annotation right about there. Head to part three of this epic booster box opening. But most wanting this, guys, what do you do? You tell me up though, you make sure you keep on gaming. See you then, guys.